Hey guys, Pretty Progress 23 aka Elizabeth here. Welcome back to the Acne channel. Today I have five common mistakes that I think, well that I'm pretty sure most of us do, thinking that it will make our acne better, but little do we know it's actually worsening our skin. I'm going to get right into it. The first one is literally overwashing. Now, if you're somebody like me, I have like super oily skin. And I think, wait, if I have such oily skin and oil and sebum is the one making me break out, I should wash it. I should get rid of it and dry out my skin. What did I do? I washed my face in the morning, washed my face, you know, whenever my face felt oily during the day, probably twice during the day, and then I'll wash it again at night. Because I was like, I was just sick of having this greasy pan-like feel on top of the on top of my skin. But when you start to overwash your skin, what you're doing is you're stripping your skin from its natural oils, and your body thinks, hey, since I don't have any natural, um, you know, ways to protect my skin, I'm going to produce more and more and more oil. So then that way my skin is protected. That excessive sebum mix and mesh with all the dirt and the grime with your sweat with dead skin cells and they pile all over top of each other and that's what's causing you to break out so definitely stick to two washes per day a lot of the times when you wash your face and you feel like that your face is tight and you feel um, really dry that is a strong indicator that you need to switch to something more gentle I personally use the Tribe Skincare Balm Cleanser. I've been using this for like about eight months or probably even more now, nine months now. Tribe Skincare is really, really gentle and it really helps reduce the redness and it doesn't strip the skin from its natural oils. It keeps it really hydrated. The second most common mistake is definitely washing your face way too quickly. So if you have a face wash out there with filled with antioxidants and you know all these nutrients and stuff that is great for the skin, but you're just pumping it on your hand, put it on your face and then quickly washing it, there's not enough contact time onto your skin. So the ingredients can't really do its job. What you want to do, this is like I've been doing this for such a long time now. I pump it on my hand and then I put it all over my face and I massage it in. I massage it in in circular motions for 60 seconds. Long enough so the ingredients can go into my skin and do its thing as well as giving me a throw like and giving me a really nice facial massage to increase that blood circulation. So while your hand motions are just as great to increase that blood cir circulation your hands can't really get into the pores so i would highly recommend the island skinner u savvy sonic brush so i've been using this for so many months now and it's made a world of a difference so this is what it looks like so it's on vibration and there's these little bristles Matte out of silicon, and those little bristles on the Savvy Sonic brush really gets into the pores and increases that blood circulation. Try this method, the 60 second method. You can search it up all over YouTube and know more about it. It really, really helps like calm your inflammation down and have that constant skin renewal when you massage your face. Now, mistake number three is over exfoliating. So, um, I have always done this mistake. Because I had all these little bumps on my skin, what I did was I scrubbed my skin way too much with those, you know, um, what was it called? Ivy, Ivy apricot scrub. And it has these little beads in it. And I thought, you know what? I have all these bumps and rough texture. What I need to do is really scrape them all off. That was my logic. So I would exfoliate every second day or even every single day. And that's a really huge mistake. Those beads, for one, create like these irregular cuts in your skin, causing you to be more prone to breakouts. And then they also cause you to again strip those natural oils from your skin. So you don't want to over exfoliate. I highly recommend exfoliating only twice a week, maximum three times a week. What I really, really recommend is the Banish Pumpkin Mask. This, I've had this for about five months. I've always finished everything. So this is what it looks like. If only you can smell this right now. 
It smells so organic, so delicious. I, like, I really want to eat it. But this helps with your hyperpigmentation, with exfoliating that all the rough texture on your forehead, you know, around your hairline, because it has AHA in it, which is an organic natural enzyme that slogs off all the dead skin cells. So I use this once a week to sometimes twice a week, depending on what my skin needs. Highly recommend looking into chemical exfoliants over physical exfoliation. And my fourth tip is changing your pillowcase. Now you're probably like, oh my god, I roll. <laughs> because so many, like everyone says this, change your pillowcase. But do you really change a pillowcase at least once every four days? Progress. My thought process was like, changing your pillowcase, I mean, really? Really? <laughs> it makes a huge, huge difference. I'm not kidding. See how your face goes oily? See how my hair is like oily as well? Imagine sleeping on the same pillow for days and days with the oils and the hair products and skin products that go on that pillow and you want to sleep on that for many, many weeks. It's really making your skin worse. But my life hack is have your normal pillowcase and just put a cloth on top of that pillowcase and every three days chuck it into the wash and then put a new cloth on top so you don't have to physically you know take out the pillowcase and then you know wash it and then put back the pillowcase in like I know sometimes we can get really lazy so putting a cloth on top of your pillowcase makes a huge difference you don't want to be sitting like your, you don't want your skin to be sitting on layers and layers of dirt and oil etc so trust me Changing your pillowcase makes a huge difference. Not changing it is one of the most common mistakes. My last point is not moisturizing. That is a common mistake that a lot of us get trapped in. We think that if we have oily skin, we shouldn't put any more moisturizer on it because that's making our skin more oily. But having oily skin is a strong indication that your skin is actually really dehydrated, that you yourself are actually really dehydrated yourself. So you want to hydrate yourself internally and also externally. Moisturizing first thing in the morning after washing your face, moisturizing first thing after you wash your face at night as well. Because you're locking, you're again creating that protective barrier away from free radicals, away from the sun, away from you know your the dirt and etc. It's really nourishing for your skin. And what I highly recommend is the vitamin C banished cream. Hands down, it is the best thing I have ever ever tried. The vitamin C in the Banished Cream really helps repair and quicken that process of healing in your skin. Um, you've probably heard all about vitamin C. It really boosts that collagen in your skin and plumps up you know, the areas where you're dehydrated, the areas where you look really dull and lifeless. So those are my five common mistakes and I really hope this helped you in some form of way and really encouraged you to recognize that there are many things that we think we're doing right. but we need to really step back and say, hey, wait a minute. With all the steps that I'm doing, am I still getting acne? Let's probably reevaluate what I should do to fix that. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook by searching out Peter Progress 23. All the products that I've mentioned, everything is going to be mentioned down below. And um, I really thank you guys so much for supporting my page and really listening to my journey and what I have to say about acne and the common mistakes. Thank you so much. I'm sending you all my love and light. Bye!